Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today and I have a really fun card making technique using the Earth Sparkles from Wow Embossing Powder. Now these are glitters and they are plant based so they're biodegradable and so because of that you can't use them with heat but I'm going to show you how you can create a really stunning card using some tacky when dry gel medium to adhere the glitter onto our card today. So for this technique, you're going to need a palette knife, you're going to need some tacky when dry gel medium, and of course you need to grab your earth sparkles or wow sparkles, whatever glitter you've got in your stash. I'm going to be using this bare rainbow stencil from A Colourful Life Designs, and I've gone ahead and put my waffle flower grip mat down on my glass mat, and I've got a card panel here that is three and three quarter inches by five inches. Uh, we're going to be working on an A2 US size card blank today, so this is going to make sure there's a nice white border around the edge as well. So I'm just making sure that my stencil is nice and even on my grip mat because there's some fragile parts in the middle where the lines are you want to make sure that you've got really good contact with your grip mat so that um, none of those little bits are going to come up when we're using the stencil paste. Now if you've not used the Crafters Workshop Tacky and Dry Gel Medium before, it's very creamy in its consistency, much like their stencil butters, um, or maybe if you've perhaps tried other products from other brands like um, Luna Paste, it's that kind of consistency, very, very creamy. So we can just go in and add a little bit more as and when we need to, and then any excess that we don't use, we can put back in the pot. So then to remove our stencil, you just want to carefully peel it up. If you grab it from the bottom left hand corner and peel it away from you, you can minimise causing any kind of damage to your project at this stage. It just makes sure that the stencil comes off nice and evenly and you don't get any kind of like peaks of the product as you pull it away. So once you've done that, you can then just remove it from your grip mat. Um, I found that I could just get my finger underneath it, but if you're struggling, then you could, of course, use another clean palette knife or something nice and flat just to get it off. And then we're going to go ahead and wait for that to dry. And in the meantime, we're going to go and wash all of our products. So once the Tacky When Dry Gel Medium is dry, you'll see it's like a lovely glossy clear finish and it stays tacky for ages. So you don't need to rush about this. Um, you know, you could leave it on your desk till the next day and then come back to it and finish it off. You don't need to rush to get your project completed. And because it's tacky, that is what's going to hold the glitter in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate these three colours along those rainbow lines. So I'm starting off with Hammerhead, which is a lovely silver glitter. And then I'm just burnishing it in with my finger. If you don't want to use your finger, you could, of course, use um, like a burnishing tool or your um, bone fold. You could put some um, baking paper over the top of it and rub it in that way. But I really found that with the Earth Sparkles, they're not as static like normal glitter. I think because they're plant based and they're not um, plastic, it definitely made them not as, sta as um, static. So it was really easy to just burnish them in with my finger and I found that they didn't really stick to my finger in the same way as normal glitter. So yeah, just something to bear in mind. If that's a reason you don't use glitter, then maybe give these a try. So the second colour that I'm using is called Shrimp and this is like a very pale pink colour and as you can see it just goes on beautifully and then the third colour that I'm using is Lobster so this is a much more um, richer pink colour and again I'm just burnishing that in with my finger and just look at the shine on that it almost looks foiled it is so pretty. Now, if you see like I've got there, just a little bit of spillage that's come from underneath the stencil, I'm just going to show you a great way of removing that. So I've got an adhesive eraser and basically this is like a rubber that will remove glue. And obviously because the Tacky and Dry Gel Medium is a glue, using the adhesive eraser will just remove that. So I'm just using like the edge of my um, rubber here, making sure that it, I can just get right up to that line without taking any off that we've already done. And then look at that, it just removes it. So that's a great little hack. This of course works for any kind of glue that's spilled out of the sides of like matte layers when you're gluing down to cardstock, but it works perfectly for the tacky and dry medium as well. So yeah, grab yourself an adhesive eraser. They are a great tool to have in your stash. And yeah, perfect for this as well. So again, I'll just come back in with Hammerhead there. And again, I'm just burnishing it in with my finger. And I'm just going to alternate all of the colours until we've completed our card panel. Um, I absolutely love the Tacky When Dry Gel Medium. And as much as I love using it for gilding flakes, it works perfectly for glitter too. So, And because it's a gel medium, it keeps any kind of texture that you create 
as well. So if you kind of stippled your palette knife on it, you'd get a rough texture. Obviously I wanted a smooth texture, so we smoothed it out over. But of course, where I've kind of made any marks, you can see those as well. So yeah, it's a really great product. So there is our finished panel, and I think it just looks absolutely stunning. And it's so shiny that the camera is not even having a problem picking that up. So let's go ahead and turn this panel into a card. So I've got my AT card blank there and I've got some foam tape and I'm just going to pop this on some foam tape on the back. And then once that's down and I've removed all the backing tape, I'm going to add some liquid glue. I've got some Cosmic Shimmer glue in that little glue bottle and it just allows you to have a little bit of wiggle room to make sure that the panel is nice and straight. So for a sentiment, I'm going to use this Thinking of You stamp from Funky Fossil Strip Back Sentiments. I'm just going to use the Thinking Of bit. And then I've got this U die, which is from Alina Crafts. And I've die cut it twice, mounted them together. And then that's going to form my sentiment. I've got some really thin frame tape to go on the back of that Thinking Of section. And so again, I'm just going to remove the backing tape and pop that down. Add some glue to the back of the U and make sure that that looks just slightly off centre. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a little butterfly. These are the layering butterfly dies, again from Alina Crafts. And I'm just going to take that lovely one with the rounded wings. I'm going to use the outline die and the solid die as well, because I think they look really nice together. I'm going to go ahead and cut the outline die in some silver metallic cardstock. And then the solid die I'm going to cut from some white cardstock. So I'm just going to attach the um, outline die with a little bit of glue, but only down the middle of the body of the butterfly. That just means that the wings can stay popped up a little bit. And again, when I stick it on my card base, again, I'm just using glue in the center of the butterfly. Now to finish off the card, I'm going to add a few gems. That is my We Are Memory Keepers Bloom Storage and I absolutely love it. If you've not seen it before, it's just like the best bead storage ever. However, not all of my sequins and beads fit in it. So I'm trying to use up what I've got in the little jars left in my drawer because I really want them all contained in one place. And so we're just going to add a few of these just to finish off the card for today. So thank you so much for joining me. As always, please don't forget to like this video. Leave me a comment below as well. Let me know if you like using glitter. Have you tried buying? degradable glitter before and if so what do you think of it and i'll leave some close-up photos as well for you to have a look at all the products that i've used today will be linked in the description box below and if you're not subscribed already then please consider doing so and i'll look forward to seeing you in the next video take care